is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel Dee Plans and Budgets. Today we're going to be stuffing my variable and sinking funds binder and if this sounds like something you would like to watch me do please stay tuned. Okay I had to zoom out just a little bit and put those up there. I have pre-prepared my sheets my breakdown and what goes in each one and then so $294. Let's count. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 70, 75, 77, 79, 81, 83, 85, 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, and 4. $294, you can see that. Here is my variable binder. I have pre-done my trackers for today. Let's just start doing this and food and eat out. I put in $75. I did a 50, a 20, and a five. So 50, 70, and five, and that should give me $150, I believe. I always stuff in advance and de-stuff in arrears. So this is Saturday afternoon when I'm stuffing these and I won't de-stuff for this current week that I'm in right now until Monday. So I end up with two weeks worth of money. So that means I have $150. 50, 70, 90, 110, 20, 35, 40, 45, 47, 49, and 50. $150, just as it should be. Uh-oh, bet my money. Keep this stuff tidy. Paper and cleaning. These are each getting $5 for this in Health and Beauty for a total of $15 in this one. And then the same thing is going to be true for Health and Beauty. It's going to get $5. As I said, I've already done my trackers. So these two are, or these are now done. Miscellaneous is going to get $40 today. And it, I did a 20 and two tens. I wonder if I just uh, got money out and winged it in terms of denominations. I wonder how that would end at the end, or turn out at the end. This one now should have $80. And we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. For those of you wondering, my miscellaneous, and I, I just try to explain this because a lot of people get confused on this. My miscellaneous is for things that I have pretty much every month, that, but that vary a little bit. So one month I might need bug spray, the other month I might need twine for my weed eater. This miscellaneous is never just money that I spend. It's like, oh, I want to go to Starbucks, whatever, I'll take it out of miscellaneous. That's not how I use my miscellaneous. It's just instead of having like a yard fund and a deep cleaning fund and a fertilizing fund, etc. I just do a miscellaneous. So I just added uh, 40, I'm sorry, I, this is travel. I'm sorry, I just added $50 to my travel and now I have $70. And this is my monthly travel. This is day trips that type of thing usually just gas and maybe a lunch out if i go on a day trip somewhere or an entry to a, a park or something for the day like a state park although i do have a pass so usually i don't have to pay for that crafts is getting 25. i did a 22 twos and a one i believe yep okay so a 20 two twos and a one, and this should give me $50 in here. 20, 30, 40, 5, 47, 49, and 50. $250. I'm really hoping to have a no spend on crafts this month. We shall see. Who knows? Spending is getting $15. This fund, spending, is what I would spend if I wanted to go have drinks with friends or something like that. And I did a supposedly a 10 and a 5, but I certainly have it here. So a 10, and we'll do two twos and a 1. What is up with this? Why can't I get the right denominations lately? 
I'll go back and look if I run out of money. So 20, 30, 45, 47, 49, 51, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that is in my spending category. These next items are items that I pull, uh, carry over every month because my spending on those is inconsistent. And so gas is getting 34. And I did a 20, a 10, probably a two and two ones, or that's what I'm going to take since it's obviously I messed up my denominations anyhow. So what does it matter now? But that's okay. Let's count this all up. I should have 129, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And this is for gas and oil changes. So what I don't spend in gas each month gets set aside for oil changes. I only need those about once every six months or so. Clothing is getting $10. And that's just a 10. All right, that should bring me to a total of 132, 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 5, 10, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29, 30, 31, and 32. And gifts got $20, and I did two tens for that. Oh my goodness. Come on. I know it's still. Okay, so gifts, two tens. And that's 10 and 20. And so now gifts should have a total of 442. So 250, 354, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 2. 442. It has exactly what it's supposed to have. And carryover is a category I am now stocking every month. Uh, some people call this life happens. So I've kind of added it to mean that in my situation. And that's going to get a 10, hopefully, a 2, and 3 ones. And it was originally supposed to get a 5, but somewhere I messed up with the 5s. But as long as the overall amount of money comes, the denominations are not that important. I should have a total of $140 now. 51, 20, 35, 37, 38, 39, and 40. I'm going to change this real quick because I wrote it wrong. 140. Okay. And that concludes this binder, which is my variable expenses. A lot of people call that their cash binder. It's the stuff I use every month that I really try to make a strict binder on. This money left over from here is also what I use to uh, do my savings challenges that cover my fun money and for traveling and cruises and that kind of stuff. I do that specifically as a reward for myself. When I'm frugal and stuff at the grocery store, then that money gets saved later to have some fun with. In my sinking funds binder, I'm doing $319 today. Let's count this up. 50, 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 60, 70, 80, 5, 90, 95, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. $319. Let's start on this one. Again, I've done my savings tracker. Annual travel is getting $32 today. That's a 20, a 30, a 20, a 30. <laughs> yeah, let's get a $30 bill. I guess it's fake money. You could make it. A 20, a 10, and I did two ones. Now we have 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 55, 56, 20, 40, 60, 80, 97, one, two, three, and four. $1,704, exactly what should be in there. That is always a good thing. At the end of the year, money in this binder either gets carried over into some of the categories here, or it will go into my long-term savings binder. 
for those of you who are newer, I give myself a yearly budget out of my big investment account. Once that money's out of there, then it's gone forever. That gives me permission to spend it to support the life that I love. So when this money gets transferred into my long-term binder, instead of just going back into the big huddle of savings for the rest of my life, so to speak, it goes into my savings account to fund things like an emergency fund and a medical deductible and extra travel or extra fun or new furniture, etc. So every time I need a larger expense, I'm not having to dip into my main investment accounts for my retirement accounts. So in Pacific Northwest, I am going to put $90 and that was not even close to a smooth transition, but you know, whatever. <laughs> if you haven't watched my intro and stuff like that, it's a little confusing as to why I do my savings like this. And it was just because I was noticing I wasn't spending money because it felt like everything I was spending was out of my future. So I went back to the old days. I pay myself a monthly salary out of my retirement accounts, and then I save for things I want to buy. Total in this should be 567. 1, 2, 53, 54, 50, 70, 90, 5, 10, 30, 50, 65, 66, and 67. Cruises. This money goes just to fund the actual booking of cruises and those types of costs. The fund that I have on the cruise ships comes out of the leftover variable binder. And I put in here $69. So 50, 60, 5, 66, 67, 68, and 69. So 5,758, 859, 950, 1,000, 10, 20, 30, 5, 40, 5, 47, 49, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. $1,056. Miscellaneous large. Again, this is kind of the cousin to my uh, one in my variable binder. Just because this is miscellaneous, this doesn't give me permission to spend it on stupid stuff. This is for things that come up when you own a household. You need filters for your furnace, that type of thing. If this is not free money that I can spend any way that I want to. I just don't want to have a have to have a fund for every possible expense that comes up. Now I should have 865 in here. 5, 6, 57, 58, 20, 40, 55, 61, 2, 3, 4, and 5. $865. I'm not opposed if people have accounts that's just mad money. That's what the cash in my wallet is. But people get confused sometimes. I don't understand how you can have a miscellaneous category and have a zero-based budget. But for me, as I've explained, the reason I can do that is because it's pretty much, I know what those spendings are and average through the months, and I just account for those. So my van got, I believe, $25. Oh, I know I got $25, and I believe, yeah, I got a 20 and a 5. 20 and a 5. I just bought my minivan camper, and this is money that I'm going to use to buy different gadgets and such to use in my camper. 1, 2, 53, 50, 70, 94, 5, 10, 12, 14, 15, and 16. $416. And fun. This is different than the other fun categories that I have. This is for things like concert tickets or for me to treat someone else to, um, you know, maybe travel with me or something like that. And this is $19, so a 10 and a 5. And did I do two twos or did I do? No, I did four ones. One, two, three, and four. So 5, 6, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 77, 79, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. It's really interesting. I like to watch the cash stuffing videos because I like to see what different people categories or categorize in their sinking funds and what things, of course, when you have like a family, the things that are in there are different than if you're single or younger or older. So it's really, it's really good and it can give you some good ideas 
um, as, as a, a really neat way for you to set up your funds as well. This is getting $50 and it's five, one, two, I'm sorry, three, four, five, 56, 57, five, seven, nine, and 10. This is a lot right now because I haven't needed any electronic gadgets this year. However, I'm almost certain I'm going to need to replace my iPad, my watch, and my buds next year. So I'm going to carry all of this over into a like category at the end of the year because I think I'm going to have some pretty steep electronic bills next year. I'm not stuffing any of these. I don't need to. And my HOA is getting $9. This is paid once a year in January. So this is almost getting close to fully funded. Now it should have 368, 1, 2, 3, 55, 62, 4, 6, and 8. 368 dollars. Alrighty, now that concludes this cash stuffing for today. I hope you enjoy that and uh, maybe you learned something either about the way that I cash stuff or perhaps something that will help you in your journey. If you liked this video, please give it a like. Ask me any questions, leave comments, please, and subscribe if you're so inclined. Have an amazing uh, week next week, and as always, take a walk. I highly recommend it. Bye.